Hello everyone. In this video, we are given a quarter circle in which a square is placed in such manner that two of its corner are touching the two different radii of the quarter circle while one corner is touching the circumference of the quarter circle and the fourth corner is lying inside the quarter circle in such a way that uh, this length is equal to 4 units. Moreover, this uh, length is equal to 10 units. By this limited data, we have to find the side length of uh, the square. So let's move towards the solution. We draw a perpendicular from here. This angle is of 90 degree. Let we call this length is equal to y and this length is equal to x. Then as this length whole length is 10 and this length is x. So this length is equal to 10 minus x. We can write it, this is x and this is 10 minus x. Moreover, this let we call the side length of square is equal to s. Now, from uh, this triangle, green triangle, as this is a right triangle, so from here we can write as x square plus y square is equal to s square by Pythagoras theorem. Now from this small triangle which is also a right triangle we can write 10 minus x square plus y square is equal to 4 square. Now we move towards some other modification since this green triangle and this blue triangle are similar triangle congruent triangles so this length is equal to y and this length is equal to x. Moreover, we make a congruent triangle over here. This is also congruent to this one. So this length is x and this length is y. We can label this. We draw another triangle which is this blue triangle. From the figure we can see that this length is equal to y plus x plus 10 minus x that is actually equal to 10 plus y. So because this length is the radius of this quarter circle so this length is also radius of quarter circle which can be written as 10 plus y. So from this blue triangle we can write by using Pythagoras theorem x plus y square plus x square is equal to 10 plus y square. Now to find the value of side length of the square s we have to solve these three equations and I have used Wolfram alpha mathematics solver for this one and this gives us five different solution among which the last one is a complex solution which is of no interest. The other four solution are real solution but we have to keep in mind that x, y and s these are all are lengths so they cannot be negative so we have to choose only solution that all values has positive so First three solution having negative values are not of our interest. The only solution that have all positive value is this one. And from here we find that S is equal to 8.2403. And that is the answer. Thank you for watching.